Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at the student's t-test and the t-distribution, which is a continuous probability distribution that arises in estimating the mean of a normally distributed population when the sample size is small and the population standard deviation is unknown. So the origins of this test uh, hail from actually Guinness Brewery in Dublin. There was a a uh, data scientist of the early 20th century, uh, Gossett, and he uh, developed a number of tests. He had to verify the quality of the beer that was being produced and couldn't taste all the beer. Uh, it was limited to working with samples and he had to infer from the samples the standard of the batch right so it meant that he had he couldn't work necessarily with large samples and he had to come up with critical values that reflected that so he couldn't use standard normal critical values he had to intuit around it uh, Gossett had posited that the tables that he created can be given by which it can can judge whether a series of experiments, however short, have a given result which conforms to any required standard of accuracy, or whether it's necessary to continue the investigation. Um, so this became important and has become important for comparing the means of two populations, has become important for constructing confidence intervals, and also in linear regression, when we look at the linear regression output, we very often look at the t stats of the coefficients and then explore the p values to determine if the variable is statistically significant or not. So uh, Guinness has a lot of history in Dublin, but we'll, we'll move just to the t test itself and the t distribution. I'm going to come down here. This is our code. I'll just copy it and we'll take a look at it and we'll set it up in. I'll just clear out everything here, clear console, and we'll just paste in our values, paste in the code. And basically, we're going to start off here by looking at a normal distribution, and we're going to go negative four standard deviations or standard deviates to four to positive four standard deviates, and go in step in a hundred steps. So we have intervals of we divide up, if you like, the, the data points into 100 data points. Okay, so let's just run that that sequence. We could take a look at it um, if we print out R, or <coughs> print out X. So let's just take a quick, let's look at X. So if we take a look at X here, we go from negative 4 all the way up to 4, and there are a hundred data points, so uh, 8, 99, 100. Okay, so we've gone in a hundred steps, and then we've estimated the density function, the normal density function on the back of that. And again, we could take a look at hx here, right? hx and just run, and this is just the uh, density function for each of these corresponding x's. If we were just to plot those two, and this got nothing to do with the t distribution, at least initially, so although I've, it's a bit of a misnomer here, t distribution, um, this is just a normal distribution. So normal distribution looks like this, and what Gossett tried to do was, normally, if you're working with large samples, you can develop critical values and test statistical significance from the critical values from the normal distribution. But when we have small samples, you need somehow to not be so confident. And he tweaked the normal distribution to allow for smaller sample size. So let's just, if we consider, for instance, where we had sample of one or three, uh, degrees of freedom, should I say, of one, three, 8 and 30 and we just load those into that object that vector and then we set up colors corresponding with each of those and then labels as well and then we plot again if I remove this table here and plot what we had before 
with the normal distribution okay and then we create a loop right i going from one to four and we're going to read so it means we're going to do four uh, loop through four times and then we take the x's so the x values that we created these ones going from negative four to four so we're going to run those x values and we're going to take uh, the t distribution we're going to get the, the density of the t distribution for those x values with the degree of freedom of one then three then eight then 30 okay so let's just run that okay and then that has allowed us then to enter into the plot right uh, the other distributions where and we'll put in the legend so that we can see more clearly where with the degree freedom is one where the degree freedom is three where the degrees of freedom are eight and when the degrees of freedom are 30 we're quite close to the normal distribution so for varying sample sizes and degrees of freedom we can adjust the normal distribution or intuit from uh, a, a tweak the normal distribution to reflect uh, confidence levels or to reflect critical values uh, when we're working with small sample size and that's the, the, the benefit of the t uh, distribution that we can move from large samples to small samples and perform statistical uh, testing in particular the t distribution plays a key role in uh, statistical analysis uh, for assessing the statistical significance perhaps of the differences between two means and also it allows us to construct confidence intervals where we have small sample size so in the next video clip um, we'll take a look at gapminder uh, data and we'll, we'll test to see is there statist statistically a difference between France and South Africa in terms of life expectancy Okay, so uh, I'll stop here.